Someone who might be able to relate to this woman uh, that you just heard from is Emily Marie Gilbert, who was the ninth woman to accuse the mayor of unwanted sexual advances, along with her husband, Jason Gilbert. Thanks for stopping by primetime. And first of all, I just want to, you know, say how sorry I am that the mayor did this to you. And he did this to many women. And I'm sure women are going to continue to come forward as, as time goes by. I hope so. I hope that all the women do speak out. Let me ask you, how do you feel about this, the latest woman to come forward? What are your thoughts? Well, she was obviously very emotional, and I, I really you know, feel for her. Um, it's such a tragedy that someone in office would just abuse his power this way. Isn't it crazy? It really is. The it's man, unbelievable. The man knows no boundaries, and he's just a, he's abused his power, and it's sad what he does to women and how he sets us back. Decades. 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 Mm -hmm. Women have fought so hard to get the respect and to have, you know, equal rights and whatnot. And it's still a fight every day, but this is ridiculous. Tell us, tell us about your situation and your experience with filming. Well, basically, I was singing at a charity event for women who have been sexually traumatized. Unbelievable. So we've heard political event, but it was a charity event for women who have been sexually traumatized. Unbelievable. Yes. The irony in that isn't it? Yes. Um, so I, I met Mr. Filner outside of the venue and um, we took some photos together and uh, proceeded inside to take me aside and grab my derriere. Like he actually had his hand on your oh, bottom? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. And what did you do at that point? Like did he just touch it or did he grab it? What did he do? Well he had his, his hand on my arm first and caressed my arm oh. first of course and then and then he grabbed my bum so. And so and it's hard because you've got this man of power and he's acting we're this way middle, and it's shocking yeah and we're in the middle of a crowded room yeah and so what around. do you do and as a woman you're like in shock and this man of power like how do you handle that situation you don't want attention drawn to you what did you well, do i didn't do anything yeah i, I can didn't see do why anything yeah because um, you know, having been sexually assaulted myself before, mm -hmm. previously, um, you know, it's, it's not an easy thing to relive. Mm -hmm. um, it's not an easy thing to, to learn that the mayor's doing this to you. It's, it's like, wow, what do you do? You know, um, and... It's almost, and, and people don't realize unless it's happened to them, oh, it's almost kind of paralyzing, isn't it? At the it moment, is. because. You're so taken back and, and, and you don't really know how to handle it. Now, if you had, if you were able to take a time out, then you could figure out how to handle it, but sure, it's so but shocking. Sure, but you don't get that opportunity. Yeah, you don't get that opportunity at all. Yeah, so, um, hmm. so yeah, so I just want to encourage all the women to, to really come out against him and against just this behavior in general, mm -hmm. you know. I, you know, it'd be nice to empower women to say, you know, let's be honest, me, Sometimes it's not unwarranted. Sometimes women are attracted to that man, whatever. Sure. But if they're not, and if it's behavior that's unwanted, I, I really encourage women to have a voice to say, hey, it's not okay. Yes. You can't, I did not give you permission to touch me. Exactly. Get your paws off. Mm -hmm. Or that behavior, those comments make me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I really feel like there's got to be more female empowerment. Absolutely. And that's why yeah. I want to share my story. Yeah. You know. What do you think about this? This is the woman you love, and here are this man in power, our leader, is touching your wife. How do you feel about that? Anytime somebody grabs you know, your wife in that way, obviously it's gonna touch a chord with you. Uh, when it's a mayor, when it's the highest ranking official in the city, it's a whole different ball game. You, know, uh, you have to, you start weighing the options. You know, what can we do? Would someone believe us? Would, would there be uh, recourse or retaliation that's going on in government these days? You know, the yes. IRS and, you know, if you're on the wrong side Absolutely. of the fence. Absolutely, you do you feel that way. political power, who yeah. knows what they might yeah. do. So we played it cool. It was like, and then when he didn't resign, that was where we said enough is enough. We're going to go public. Um, had he stepped yeah. down, you would have never heard from us. But uh, because karma would have mm -hmm. caught up with him and it would have, you know, he would have done the right thing. Now he's fighting to hang on, and he's giving everyone what I call the Filner finger. We hear about the Filner headlock, but it's the Filner finger now. It absolutely that's is. Prominent. It's, it's okay. We're just getting started. Yeah. We have a lot. Obviously, you have a uh, lot yeah, to say. I, You're I'm, very passionate about what yeah. you have to say. All right. I love that you support your woman. I love it. I love it. I love it. And what you talked about earlier, before we talked, to, took a break, that 
you have this fear that you have a man in power. We don't know who's in his back pockets. And obviously, there the boundaries are blurred. He's capable of doing anything. And do we want pressure from government or anybody else? So it's intimidating to speak out. And, and then you talked about how you just had had enough and you're coming out to make a difference. Now, why don't you uh, take up where we left a off? Absolutely, yeah. When he didn't resign, he refused to resign. Uh, that was the final straw for us. And going into a rehab, it's like taking a little time out. A time out is not enough. You got to have more than a time out. Um, there needs to be accountability. There needs yeah. to be consequence. And if he um, survives and isn't, doesn't resign or isn't recalled, the message that'll send, to, I mean, it's open season. It's do what you want. And all the women that have stepped forward and, it, and if nothing happens, I mean, could you imagine what, what in other cases in the future or other politicians or people in power and women that might have been uh, violated in that way, mm -hmm. they won't speak up because they'll think, well, nothing will happen to them. Nothing happened to Filner. So why should I? You know, it just um, so there, he would make it so much easier if he would just do the honorable thing mm -hmm. and step down. You know, I was a, a former active duty Marine officer and honor was a big deal to us. Those of us in power, when we, you know, you always <laughs> you always got to do the right thing. And when you make a mistake, you, number one, own up to it, mm -hmm. which he said he did things wrong. But you also apologize. You ask for forgiveness. And there needs to be some sort of penance, some sort of accountability. Mm -hmm. And so what does a politician value the most? Power and money. So he should step down. He should give up power. And it should cost him something. We don't want any money. But and it I, shouldn't be... You know, money from our pockets, taxpayers. That's taxpayers the thing. Should not he should make a personal contribution yeah. to a woman's cause, maybe like the uh, charity that um, I you know is there for the women that have been sexually traumatized. Mm -hmm. That would be wh whatever wh when he chooses or amount he chooses. But I put this out to him last week, and he still hasn't done it. So you know. I a dollar even I mean just show something that you actually he needs to step care, down that would know? show well, something he needs to because do him both. seeing in office is putting salt in the wound for all these women it but he's, it wasn't just a sexual harassment he's done a lot of bad things he's done like the, the it's power and there are no boundaries for this man I have to say though so often in cases like this the female gets victimized again because they oh well you were Marilyn yeah, Monroe. You were asking for what did yeah. you expect when you look like Marilyn Monroe, which is crap. Just because you look sexy doesn't mean it gives a man the right to, to touch, touch your you. body. No. You can't touch this unless I say you can touch it, right? right. I mean, that's how exactly. all women should feel. So, and it does send a message. And you know what the best thing about this whole Filner situation is? It's getting the conversation started because this behavior has been going on for centuries, mm -hmm. right? And it's unacceptable. Centuries. It is unacceptable especially when you hold a position of power yeah. and you're a leader and you're the uh, biggest leader in the city. Uh, a good leader sets a good example. And again, when you cross the line, when you do something that's egregious, you gotta own up to it. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to go into rehab and hide from the press for two weeks and hope it all goes away. You know, there has to be a consequence. And these days in politics, we just don't see it. There's no consequence. There's no accountability. There's all these scandals in Washington. No one's been fired. No one's resigned. Mm -hmm. and Mayor Fielder probably sees that and says, well, why should I resign? You know, so it's systemic and it just snowballs. And we have to stand up and demand more from our leaders. And we need to elect people that put honor and integrity first mm -hmm. before ideology and party. I mean, this is reflecting now poorly on not just himself, but it's a, it disgraces the office. And it embarrasses the city in front of the whole country. And and, and it's, uh, it's bringing shame upon his party and members of his party both locally and nationally have asked him to resign and he won't. Nobody wants him to stay in office except for him. So in a way he's imposing himself he's on the city. He's just being a crazy old man. In he's the way in. he's imposed himself <laughs> yeah. on all these women. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Are you so convicted in your beliefs and your statement that you would actually testify against him in court? Do you think you could do that? Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I would. I mm -hmm. love that. Do you have advice for any other women that are out there that haven't? I mean, because it takes a lot of courage and strength to come forward because they're afraid of the repercussions. You don't know what's ahead of you. Don't know. You. you don't know, um, and it, it does take a lot of courage to come out and say, you know, someone did something to me that was inappropriate. Uh, mm -hmm. But I would encourage all the women to come out and and talk about it, or talk to me, talk to anyone. Find me on Facebook. We'll talk about it. You would do that. You would help them. Absolutely. We would help you. Any women that are out there, you want to come board, we'll help you here too at the UT. 
Thank you so much. Is there anything that you could share with our viewers? Anything else? Some advice or, you know, anything, any insight into what you went through that maybe we haven't shared yet? I mean, I just feel like women need to be strong and unite together. Um, and men, too, you know. It's, uh, it's just got to end, this kind of behavior. It's got to end. What do you like to say? Um, you know, I, I just want to tell the mayor that he should, again, step up, do the right thing, step down. It's the honorable thing to do. And, you know, if he does that, we can maybe start to restore some honor in, in politics. As I've been telling people, don't, you know, if I, if I could see him face to face, I would say, look, don't go away mad, just go away. Give don't up the Don't touch office. my wife. And don't, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Like, don't touch my wife. Yeah. All right, thank you for taking the time or to come by time. prime time. And I hope to have you guys back. And thank you for being strong and honorable. And, and I hope all San the San Diego appreciates too. both of you.